A government shutdown could be just over a week away. If Congress fails to approve funding for certain departments by March 1st, there will be a partial shutdown. If they don't pass any funding by March 8th, there will be a total shutdown when all remaining departments run out of money. But you won't see much work taking place on this because neither chamber is in Washington right now. The Senate is out until February 26th and the House is out until the 28th. President Biden was not happy about Congress's recess after lawmakers failed to make a deal on funding for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. Two weeks. What are they thinking? My God, this is bizarre. And it's just reinforcing all the concern and, and, and almost, I won't say panic, but real concern about the United States being a reliable ally. Negotiators still meet and speak over the phone with a few in-person meetings, but it drags out the process. According to Axios, one Republican lawmaker said people are predicting a shutdown, even if it's just for a few days. Government funding can come in two forms, a formal budget bill that officially sets spending levels for 2024 or a continuing resolution, which is an agreement to keep funding levels exactly the way they were in 2023 until a final deal can be made. The Pentagon is raising concerns about the negative impacts a shutdown or a continuing resolution would have on national security. This brinkmanship creates uncertainty, increased costs and delays missions, and most importantly, it's a distraction for the force. Here's where it gets interesting. Due to a previous agreement between House Republicans and the White House, if no formal budget deal is finalized by April 30th, there will be an automatic 1% spending cut across the board. According to Punchbowl, House Speaker Mike Johnson recently met with conservative members who are demanding spending cuts and moderates on the Appropriations Committee who are willing to compromise. Punchbowl reports the conservative hardliners suggested that Republicans should simply provoke a shutdown or enact a full-year CR to ensure a 1% cut in government spending, while lawmakers they describe as Appropriations Committee cardinals argued a government shutdown was, quote, idiotic and would only hurt House Republicans. Democrats and many Senate Republicans want to approve a spending deal that falls in line with the Fiscal Responsibility Act. That's the same bill from June 2023, which we mentioned earlier, that will trigger an automatic 1% cut across the board. But House conservatives don't think the cuts included in that bill go far enough, so they have blocked any spending bill that follows its guidelines. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.